Oftentimes, you will have threads with tasks that never end. Each thread will run forever until a certain condition is reached or a time limit has expired. Once that happens, a separate thread can swoop in and interrupt all of them using thread.interrupt. That same calling thread can use thread.join to wait for the other threads to stop before it can display the final result, thereby synchronizing with the worker threads. You can start by downloading the updated course materials from my GitHub repo, whose link I will leave you inside the description. Once you download the zip, extract the contents of your zip file, then drag the thread interruption starter project into your preferred development environment. And let's begin. All right, start by opening up main.java. Once again, I've written most of the code just because I want to keep the focus on interrupting player threads and then synchronizing the main thread with all of the player threads using thread.join. So what I'm gonna do is begin by putting a breakpoint at line number eight in order to get familiar with the runtime and press debug. So here we're creating four player threads and appending them into our threads array. Uh, if we just dive into the object creation of each thread, here we're creating a player thread object and populating its fields using our constructor. And one field in particular that I want to direct your attention to is the interrupted field, which by default for every thread object is going to start off as false. Now here you'll notice inside of the task that each thread is going to execute, we have a while loop that keeps running so long as the interrupted field is false which means this while loop is going to essentially run forever. So each player thread is going to run forever until we eventually set that interrupted field equal to true, which we can do over here. So here I'm going to loop through every single player thread. So what's basically happening is, well, I have a breakpoint here that I'm going to remove. What's basically happening is our main thread and all of our player threads are running concurrently at first. While all of the player threads are running forever, basically, our main thread is sleeping. And after it's done sleeping, it's going to set the Boolean value of every single player thread equal to true by calling interrupt. So don't be mistaken, interrupt does not physically interrupt every player thread. All it does is it sets the interrupted Boolean value equal to true. And the actual logic for stopping each thread is implemented within the task itself. We can visualize this by putting a breakpoint at line number 17. I'm going to press debug. So our main thread was sleeping for two seconds after it was done sleeping. Now we're looping through every single player thread inside of our threads array. First, we start with the player thread at index number zero, the one with a reference of eight. It starts with an interrupted field of false. And what this is going to do is set its interrupted field equal to true. Simple as that. And by doing so, after interrupting all of our player threads, they should stop running. So after we cross line number 18, we can rest assured all of our player threads have been interrupted. So will our code work? Is it going to display the final result correctly? Let's find out. I'm simply going to press run. So we are indeed stopping every thread once we call interrupt, thereby stopping the while loop from running any longer. However, it takes time for the player threads to essentially stop. And our calling thread, our main thread, needs to still wait for the player threads to stop before it can display the final results. Because we want to display the final result after all the player threads have finished. So here, what I can do is call player thread dot join. By calling dot join on every single child thread from the main thread, the main thread is going to pause execution until it ensures that every single player thread has stopped executing. And if I rerun the code now, our output looks a lot better. Player four achieved the highest score 
and it follows that they won. So to recap, four player threads were playing indefinitely. The main thread was sleeping for two seconds. After the time limit expired, the main thread interrupted every other player thread using thread.interrupt, and then it synchronized with every player thread using thread.join before displaying the results. One last thing before I let you go, if you're the type of person that prefers to read, this lesson is also available in article format on Learn the Part, whose link I will leave you inside the description. Alright, I will see you in the next lesson.